At your local election headquarters, Governor Greg Abbott today in Tyler, warning voters to not take any competition lightly, no matter how far experts say you are ahead in the polls. He made a stop today in Tyler. KTK's Trent Bennett covered the event. He now joins us live in the newsroom. So, Trent, the governor had some announcements to make. He did, Neil. He had lots to say, but one thing that he focused on was that even though a majority of the state might be voting red, not showing up to the polls because you think your party will win in the, in the end is a scenario that really concerns him. We're in a battle for the soul of our nation. Will Democrats take over Texas? That was the concern at Bruno's Pizza Wednesday, where in the front row, seated was Dow Wynn, awaiting for the arrival of the governor, but had something tucked inside his pocket. It's a voter card. I'm going to go down and uh, vote, early voting today. He's 67 years old, and since he was 18, he has always voted Democratic. I just can't, I just can't support him anymore, and so uh, I'm, I'm going to vote Republican for the first time in my life. And looking to secure his second term as the governor of Texas, Abbott faces former Dallas County Sheriff Lupe Valdez a race that he remains heavily favored. Uh, we've got to make sure we are both securing our border, make our community safe. We've got to do a better job with regard to educating our students, paying our teachers more. There's a lot to do. Are you but the main jobs? message was if you're a Republican. Turn out and vote. Their values are at stake in this election. They need to turn out and vote if they want their values represented in Texas. And when it was all over, Wynn snapped a picture of his governor, left the building, and went to cast his vote. And both junior Senator Ted Cruz and Congressman Beto O'Rourke will visit East Texas on Thursday. And Lupe Valdez spent her day campaigning in Laredo. Reporting live in the newsroom, Trent Bennett, KETK News. And early